Hi guys, welcome to Mech Studies. Today we are going to talk about measurements of pressure. We will cover mainly gas pressure, atmospheric pressure, absolute pressure, vacuum pressure, gauge pressures, and relations between all of these pressures. So what is gas pressure? So before going to learn gas pressure, let's try to remember what is pressure. Pressure means force by area. If we write area is equal to 1, then pressure is equal to force. So we can say pressure means force per unit area. And don't be confused between pressure and force. Let's try to understand with a very simple example. These are two different wooden block. Here is a flat pin and this is a very sharp pin. And we will strike on the head of both flat pin and sharp pin. See in the first case flat pin is not entering to the wooden block. The area of the flat pin is not uniform and it is not small. So we are applying force here and for the pin if you see it enters into the wooden block. Here we are applying the same force due to the uniform and unit area it is entering to the wooden block. So this is force per unit area and it is called pressure. Now let's come to the subject. Gas pressure. So what is gas pressure? We know gas compose a myriads of molecules and all the time these molecules are colliding with the container as well as each other if you see you can understand how they are colliding with each other and the container now if you add one pressure gauge you will see a rise in pressure gauge parameters here it is changed from 0 psi to 34 psi. So how does pressure parameter is increased here? Because molecules are applying force on the container wall per unit area. So basically molecules applying pressure on the container wall. So we can define gas pressure. Gas pressure is defined as the force exerted by the gas particles colliding with the wall per unit area in a container. Now we have seen the whatever the molecules we are keeping within a closed container and these molecules or gases exert pressure on the wall. But what if, if the gases are not in a container like atmosphere? Do you think it has a pressure? Let's try to understand. This is our earth and this is the atmosphere. Now if you take a small cross section of the atmosphere, we can understand easily. So atmosphere means air and it contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, argon, helium. These are all gases. If you see closely, this atmospheric air consists different gases. And these are also colliding with the earth's surface. And we feel atmospheric pressure. So atmospheric pressure is the pressure which is exerted by atmosphere on the earth. Now one atmospheric pressure. This pressure we measure at the sea level. And its value in different units like 14.5 psi. psi means pound per square inch it is in APS unit or 101325 Newton per meter square in SI unit Newton per meter square means Pascal or we can say that it is 101.325 kilopascal and this atmospheric pressure many times it is required to convert in kg per centimeter square so we can write one atmospheric pressure is equal to 1.033 kg per centimeter square. So from these units we can easily convert from PSI to KPA or KPA to kg per centimeter square. If you see 
in a small graph see this is atmospheric pressure line and left side we are marking it pressure in pascal if any container doesn't have any molecules then it will be vacuum so what will be the pressure here theoretically it will be absolute zero pressure because it doesn't have any molecules and it will not be able to give any colliding action or force on the wall so absolute zero pressure means zero pascal atmospheric pressure we have seen that in pascal it is 101325 now gauge pressure it's a new term let's try to understand what is gauge pressure if we try to fill our tires technician use pressure gauge to measure the tire pressure in the car we use 35 psi pound per square inch and if we convert it in pascal it will be 241317 pascal now if we open the pressure gauge what will happen we will see zero psi reading now since it is open the pressure at the inlet is one atmospheric pressure so it is very simple to ask why pressure gauge keeps zero psi reading it is very simple because pressure gauge reads above one atmospheric pressure so one atmospheric pressure equivalent to zero psi in pressure gauge so basically pressure gauge reads above one atmospheric pressure so we can define gauge pressure is the pressure measured relative to the atmospheric pressure see in the graph this is the gauge pressure and here it is 35 psi or 241317 pascal now the pressure from the absolute zero pressure we measure is called absolute pressure so any pressure we can mark it in absolute pressure as well so absolute pressure means it's the summation of atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure if you see the graphics it is easy to understand absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure so in summary we can write absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure let's try to find out absolute pressure from this value of gauge pressure and atmospheric pressure so absolute pressure is equal to 101325 atmospheric pressure plus 241317 is equal to 342642 pascal let us try to solve a very simple questions so this is the graph see the fluid gauge pressure is 2000 pascal so what will be the value of absolute pressure so absolute pressure means the pressure which is measured from the absolute zero pressure so absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure atmospheric pressure 101325 pascal and gauge pressure given 2000 pascal it comes 103325 pascal one more problem we can solve see absolute pressure is given 104 Three to five pascal, and we have to find out the same in gauge pressure. Let's try to find out from the equation. Absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure. So we can write atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure is equal to absolute pressure, or gauge pressure is equal to absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure. Now putting the value of absolute pressure 104325 pascal and atmospheric pressure as 101325 pascal so it comes 3000 pascal in gauge so gauge pressure is 3000 pascal see we are writing g in bracket it simplifies that this pressure is gauge pressure if it is absolute pressure we write a in bracket 
let's try to understand so this is a pressure vessel vacuum means the pressure which is below atmospheric pressure now if we add vacuum gauge we will see its reading suppose it is 1500 pascal it means the value of this vacuum pressure is 1500 pascal below atmospheric pressure see in the graph this is atmospheric pressure and below 1500 pressure here it is vacuum pressure let us draw a gauge pressure atmospheric pressure absolute zero pressure graph so below the atmospheric pressure vacuum pressure line is coming and from the absolute zero pressure it is absolute pressure this is the atmospheric pressure line see closely we will see atmospheric pressure is the summation of vacuum pressure and absolute pressure so we can write atmospheric pressure is equal to vacuum pressure plus absolute pressure let us try to solve a question vacuum pressure it is 1200 pascal let us try to find out what will be the absolute pressure we know atmospheric pressure is equal to vacuum pressure plus absolute pressure from this we can write atmospheric pressure minus vacuum pressure is equal to absolute pressure so absolute pressure is equal to 101325 that is atmospheric pressure minus vacuum pressure that is 1200 pascal so we get 100125 pascal thank you so much please visit mixstudies.com